Okay, welcome to uh, Neptune's Asshole. Um, this is my least favorite level in the game, but um, it's not too bad. Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it was, but um, I had uh, a lot of luck with the big daddies. Um, I found some good strategies while researching how to take them down most efficiently. And uh, I think um, they're all repeatable, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to kind of just make our way um, into the main um, lower wharf area. And here's our first glimpse at this um, bitch we're going to call Rose for the uh, rest of the uh, walkthrough. Um, you'll see her again for sure, and I'll uh, comment more on her when we do. Now, um, when we walk into this lower wharf area, um, every time you walk in, this big daddy and little sister are going to walk through. Uh, the best way um, to do this is wait for them to make their way down to the center of the wharf, um, that little waterfall area. They'll center there and she'll start um, draining Adam from a, a corpse. At this point, there's going to be um, a bunch of splicers that attack from the upper wharf and kind of mix things up a little bit and the big daddy will fight them off. Just use this opportunity to kind of watch. Um, I'll chime in here in a few seconds after the splicers um, try to take out this big daddy. The big daddy will completely kick their ass, but until then, um, just watch. Okay, the second he, um, you know, rehitches his tank, the battle's over. Uh, I, I've seen a lot of strategies and a lot of people writing to use the turrets, use the turrets against the Big Daddy. Um, maybe it's because it's hard mode, or maybe because these things are deadly accurate with a rivet gun, but those turrets do jack shit. Um, they barely take out splicers as it is, so they're, there's nothing against the Big Daddy. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use um, telekinesis and these explosive tanks. There's three in this area right here. And what I did, what I did just there, and you have to be careful. If you jump up and shoot him when he's not looking, and carefully get to cover, he won't immediately attack you, and he'll give you a little more time to get the second shot off. Um, I didn't do that here. He saw me after my first shot, so I kind of biffed my uh, third shot. Um, now, once you get the, all those um, explosive barrels out at him, there's three in that first area. So you fire one from the ground, and then there's two barrels. And then you can run back here for another supply of um, barrels. I think it takes five direct hits from these barrels to um, kill them. So what I like to do is throw the first couple, run back in this area, and it kind of draws them back into this little tiny corridor. He should never make it out into this top area. Um, you should kill him before he gets out here, or else he'll be in an open area and you'll be at a big disadvantage. So just keep these tanks, just keep running back, refilling, and then firing at them. And you can see the massive damage they do. In fact, they're the most efficient way of killing these things in the entire game. But unfortunately, they're not lying around all over the place. So for the other two big daddies, we'll have to fight them head on. But um, as this is the last shot, and he's dead. Uh, while running out of that area where you're re really filling your uh, explosive barrels, be careful because there's a rocket turret out there. But if you move fast enough, it won't get a lock on you, and it shouldn't really cause many problems. Again, rescue the big sister. So this was the first big daddy, the first Rosie, which are the most difficult big daddies in the game, aside from the elite Rosies. But um, these rivet guns and proximity mines are a bitch. Mm. So the faster you take these things out, um, the better. And they're really hard to take out with conventional weapons. Um, even grenades that you get later in the game, or later in this level, do not... <laughs> they don't do very much damage against them. So um, congratulations, you beat the first Rosie, and uh, we'll continue the guide as we go take a look for peaches. And uh, I'll see you then. Approaching a little sister is a criminal offense. Do not approach the little sisters. <laughs> 